Breeze Heli 2.0. See the difference between what I normally work with and this thing. Look at this monster. Next to the typical eBay offering. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to make th these videos and I'm going to make more of them showing the same information that did with the i1500. I just know nobody really wants to sit down and watch a 20 minute video about this stuff. So we're going to go over what comes in the box and this one. And uh, hopefully in the next couple of days I'll actually be able to do a couple of bench tests on this thing. This right here. So what all comes with the package with the Healy, you get the motor itself, five blades. I don't know what they call these. They're parts of the, the, the balance system. Uh, hub, nose cone, some counterweights, tail vane, and a tail boom. All right, now one of the features of this mill It has an integrated system to help pull it out of the wind whenever things get a little wild. So one of the first things that I noticed about this is that thing weighs a hundred pounds. So that's something to keep in mind. You're going to start looking at bigger turbines uh, <laughs> they start getting heavy in a hurry this little one that I just showed behind me is rated for maybe 400 watts weighs 10 pounds this thing is rated for you know somewhere in the neighborhood of 2500 watts and it is very heavy um, the nacelle uh, or the, the shroud this is all made out of fiberglass and it's pretty neatly done the motor itself which I'm gonna do another video we're gonna take all this part to kind of show how all this stuff goes together uh, the housing inside it's all aluminum uh, looks very neat uh, the finish the the powder coating and everything it's it is thin but it looks better than what came on the 1500 uh, it has the same blades as what's co what comes with the 1500 and the 2000. Uh, I do like these blades. I was skeptical whenever I first saw them with the, you know, with the other, but I they're, they're quiet and they did the job. Uh, this nose cone is the same material. It is plastic. Uh, this one actually took a hit in shipping It cracked pretty easily It won't well I say it cracked pretty easily that thing landed on it, so uh, I don't know how easy it was it took you know pretty heavy hit um, There's some things about it not super neat, but it will do the job and it's stuff that can be cleaned up pretty well. The hub, I'm not super impressed with the hub because this is pretty thin. It's half as thick as what came with the i1500. So I'm gonna be looking at ways of reinforcing that or something, not really sure yet. Uh, the counterweights, uh, you know, they're just they're blocks of metal. Um, yeah, that's about as adventurous as they are. The tail boom is made out of steel. And it bolts onto the back of the, the stub. Uh, I mean, there's nothing really super special about it. It doesn't do anything 
really neat or cool, but it is what it is. And one of the things that, uh, you know, with the 1500, everything is made out of aluminum. Uh, that's made out of steel. The, the stub on the I-1500, aluminum, this is all steel. Everything is made out of steel except for, you know, the, the shrouds and the generator housing itself. One of the things with the 1500 that I commented on not liking was that the tail vane was made out of PVC. It's going to get really brittle and it's going to take a beating. This one is made out of steel. It's also much bigger. Uh, the whole package is going to be pretty robust as far as what I've dealt with with these turbines. Uh, so let's take a look at the back of this thing. This part is open, so I mean it's going to get you know plenty of ventilation. Uh, it is protected from the weather. It's going to It'll still be hit by some driven rain if it's, you know, if it takes a pretty good blow. Now the same thing with the I-1500. All of the decals, they're, they're vinyl. These ones look pretty decent except for this part back here. I think that's going to start peeling up, which is, it's all aesthetic. Uh, a lot of what I do, I don't really care about whether the aesthetics hold up. If you're worried about aesthetics, the vinyl could use some work. And sometimes I do leave this thing, you know, mostly in the furled position because one, it is very heavy and with it nose down it's not very balanced you know whenever it's not bolted to a pole all right so this is what comes in the box uh you might notice there's no paperwork no documentation none of it came in the box uh <coughs> all the instructions and everything you'll have to get those off of their website and this comes with it appears to be universal to all their mills. They keep paperwork to a minimum. Uh, it's all electronic. You have to download it all. Uh, I will put a link to that below. As always, if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button so that you'll get notifications for whenever I post the new videos. I will have... I, I, I gotta try real hard to get a bench test on this thing in the next couple of days so that video is coming and uh, I also have some updates coming for my washing machine turbine and uh, another update for the 1500 for the other Easter Breeze that I've got going on so that's that thanks for watching guys